Hey, hi, Sue Moore here, and today's question is, are you open to discovering some effective ways to handle sagging skin? Well, we've got a couple of ideas for you today, and I hope you'll stay tuned, uh, particularly if you're in the 50-ish to 60-ish um, uh, age group, you'll notice that uh, all of a sudden the skin is beginning to change, and it's not as elastic as, elastic as it used to be. And part of that is because uh, as we go through our lives, there are so many things going on, where there's diseases and, and disorders and change uh, just generally, and sagging skin happens to be one of those things. So as I said, if you're in your 50s or, or your 60s, you're seeing it either here on the neck or maybe in the arms or maybe on the legs or in the stomach for that matter. But sagging skin is a huge, huge issue. So, now, why does this happen? Well, there are two very major reasons, and you know what both of them are. Obviously, the most simple and obvious one is we are aging, and what happens is, I've got my notes here so I don't forget anything, um, we, as we age, our skin naturally loses the elastin and the collagen that we had when we were uh, younger. You notice how a baby's skin is nice and plump and full and rosy and so forth. Well, you know, They've got all the elastin and the collagen that they're ever going to get. And as it gets, as we get older, we begin to lose that. And more importantly than that is the connective tissue begins to weak, weaken, I should say, and the skin begins to look tired and old. That is a big yuck. Hey, Laura, how are you? Nice to see you. Um, another contributor to, say, to um, sagging skin that I'm sure you're all aware of, and that is the sun. I mean, um, I can remember uh, when I first started in this industry in skincare, I can remember people saying, you know, oh, you can't go out without sunscreen and wear a hat and all of that. And I can remember in my 20s and my 30s thinking, oh, big deal, I'll be, I'll be just fine. And then when I got into it, I turned into 40, 45 and so forth, all of a sudden things were about beginning, I mean, they were beginning to be a little bit weird and they weren't the way they were when I was in my 20s and 30s, so don't do what I did, That's, that doesn't work. Rosemary, how are you? Thanks for, for uh, tuning in. So, so for people who spend a lot of time in the sun, whether they're sunbathing or working outdoors or just having fun playing a great round of golf, they are exposed to very, very powerful rays which over time are going to break down the elastin and the collagen. So, and at the same time, it is, it is creating wrinkles and brown spots and skin, uh, skin cancer, another big yuck. Smoking is also a contributor uh, because it exposes our skin and other parts of our body to harmful chemicals and it dries the skin out, which causes sagging and drooping. I don't know what's worse, what's worse, sagging or drooping. I, I'm not sure, but they're both something I don't want to experience. Uh, losing weight is another uh, contributor to sagging skin because as we gain weight, our skin expands. So when we lose weight, the skin, because uh, it's losing a elastin and collagen, does not go back to the tight little stuff it was before we started to gain the weight, okay? So, all of those things are contributing. And so, like I said, if you're in your 50s or 60s, this becomes a real issue. And so, here are a couple things that you can consider doing. Hey, Linda, nice to see you. Thanks for jumping on, appreciate it. Um, you might wanna consider using a derma roller with micro exfoliating tips. Now this is important because there are a lot of rollers out there that um, actually could ruin your skin if you, really, if you don't know what you're doing. Sometimes the, um, the needles are so long. That's why I say micro exfoliating tips, okay? So, um, and they don't hurt, but they get the job done in terms of maximizing the effectiveness of the products you're using to firm the skin. Um, so, and, so that's the first thing. And the, sec the second thing, in conjunction with the first thing, is using a serum with peptides and retinol. So R-E-T-I-N-A-L, not O-L, okay? 
and that happens to be a proprietary product uh, that I know of and it is the um, largest dosage of vitamin A in just under prescription doses. So when that is combined with uh, a derma roller uh, and the peptides, you, have, you stand a chance to have your skin uh, start renewing itself and controlling the sagging, okay? Now you're also gonna to wanna to look for products that come with a four to six week guarantee. Now there's a lot of noise out there when it comes to different products and tools and those kinds of things, and it can be very confusing. That's why if you can get something with a four to a six week uh, guarantee, um, that's a long enough time to see if what you, are, what you have purchased is actually gonna work for you. And if it does, glory. And if it doesn't, you get your money back. So it's just a matter of cash flow, really, okay? So um, you wanna make sure that you think about those three things when you're trying to address this nasty thing called sagging skin. Now, on a completely different subject, Mother's Day, believe it or not, really is, is right around the corner. I think we're a little bit more than 30 days out. My question to you is how happy do you think your mom would be if you could give her the time, the gift of time to rolling back some of that time, if you could show her how to slow the sagging skin that she might be experiencing or some other concern that she might have. I think she'd be pretty well th thrilled with that. And if, like my mom, she's already got her heavenly wings, uh, many of us watching this are moms ourselves. And so why not? I, I love the, the, the presents I buy myself. I buy myself birthday presents for my husband's birthday, but don't tell him I said that. Anyway, so that is the uh, video for today. You want to remember to um, uh, use uh, a, a, micro, a, micro, a micro exfoliating roller. You want to use the right kind of serum with that. And you want to make sure that you're getting something. This, this four to six week guarantee, money back and so forth. I would say that to any skincare product you buy, anything you're buying, okay? And that way you know you've got enough time, as I said earlier, to try it, see if, it, see if you like it, number one, and number two, if you want to continue with it. And if not, then you know, you're not out of anything, you get your money back. So as I said, that's it for today. Now, if you'd like, I do have a PDF that's got a little more information uh, than what I've just explained, and I'll be happy to send that to you. Or if you want to treat yourself to Mother's Day or your sweet mommy, if she's still with you, you want to treat her to something for Mother's Day, just message me and we can figure out whatever that's going to be. So that's it for today. I hope you have a great rest of Sunday afternoon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.